So this is our microwave and I just microwaved some things for the kind of for the first time. I think I only used it once before. And um, you hit microwave and then you hit the time and then you hit start. Whoops. Look on the inside. <laughs> if you look on the inside, see, there's this thing. And down here is where I, there's a um, plate. And I microwave things in there. Oh yeah. Just, just like this. And I thought to myself, boy, there's a metal thing in there. Um, but it's a convection oven too. And it doesn't say anything about removing. And I thought to myself, because everything in the RV is made out of a material, like it looks normal, but it's made out of a very different kind of material. So I thought, you know, it's, I'm just supposed to microwave like that. And I'm not the only one. Yeah, I, I also um, really have never used a convection oven before. And um, so we left the metal grill and inside. I cooked microwave for, oh, oh, start. Four minutes. Oh, it was oh, whoa, whoa. four oh, minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. It was not four minutes. Because then I hit microwave for, oh, oh, start again. And then I hit microwave for, oh, oh, start again. <laughs> and then I hit microwave wait, wait, for, wait, wait, oh, oh, wait, wait, start wait, wait, wait. again. If you're, if you're with me here doing the math, that's 16 minutes. And then I was done microwaving the bowls. <laughs> And I put in wow, a plate of tamales wow. for two minutes. Oh. Microwave two oh oh start. <laughs> and then Oh wow, I understand. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yeah. And then I pulled them out and I thought, you know, these tamales too dry for my Samuel. So I put them in again for two more minutes. Microwave two oh oh start. Then we're sitting at dinner and my Samuel says these are kind of dry. I don't think they're done they're, yet. They're not warm. They're not warm yet. They're not warm. So Sam takes them in. Awesome. And what happens? So I took them in tell, tell to them. microwave. Zoom out a little. I don't want to be that close. I took them in to microwave. That's far enough. And uh, the microwave wouldn't start. It was completely dead. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe we blew a circuit. You know, so I went and I hit the circuit breaker a couple times went back that didn't work I unplugged it replugged it then I noticed that there was a tremendous amount of heat coming from inside in fact there's still a tremendous amount of heat coming from right there and I started to think to myself um, we we may have something's going on here that's not right this thing was not being used for the last half hour it should not be hot anymore it should be nice and cool and I wonder why <laughs> and so after I realized the heat was building I began to be concerned about an internal component fire once I figured out that mama had microwaved with the metal racks not just one um, metal not one metal rack <laughs> but two metal racks <laughs> in the microwave and not just two minutes or three minutes but 20 minutes i come to find out now now convection ovens now wait, let's hold on a second here okay because look there's microwave convection come by like combination you can and when i read the instructions when i read the instructions you can use the metal thing for the combo of Convection and microwave. <laughs> I read them after. After you used it for 20 minutes. And you used it on, on the, the microwave, microwave setting. setting yes, with but two metal racks in there. But there, I, now, there are warnings granted, all over this RV. There are warnings all over yes. the RV about the propane, about the electricity. There is no warning <laughs> about. <laughs> the okay. Metal stuff. All right. So let me explain why we're at where we're at right here. So. I start to freak out that there could be an internal component fire on the microwave. So I quickly try to unscrew this thing. It's got five screws. It's a heavy microwave into good, right the top of the uh, cabinet. I quickly unscrew it, get it unhooked. This was lift mounted it, above the stove. Lift it and get it out here. And in the process of getting it out here, one of the screws had fallen in a hole in the microwave and I cannot lose those screws. Yeah, and guess who got it out? <laughs> and Jonah came to the rescue to get that screw out. So tomorrow, 
Um, I cannot in good conscience call this a warranty issue. This, <laughs> this is not... I beg to this differ. This is not a warranty There issue. was no warning note. I beg to differ. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm not sure how much these cost, but this is a very large convection well, microwave oven. If you, if you watched the tour of the inside of the RV, you know we don't really use microwaves. They're not very good for you. No, they're not. I think this was meant to be. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> sure, this was mom. Meant to be. Sure, mom. We need more shelves. We'll put shelves above the microwave or above the stove. Mama, Dad, you gotta you... have it. You, you gotta. You convection oven is good. You can use it as an oven. I don't Conve use. I, mom, you gotta have a microwave. <laughs> we ate microwave dinner tonight. It was good. But no, it wasn't. Nobody liked it except for one of the dishes. Anyway. So that's the story of that time. When mama microwave for 20 minutes with metal inside of the microwave. And we are very grateful nobody got hurt. Yes. And that our RV did not burn to the ground yeah, in but the first week also, of Also, let's hope on that the, the heat usage. just starts it's to build down. It's, 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 it's dissipated. It's slowly going down. So okay. Can't. So, wow. you're welcome <laughs> that I gave you this laugh at my expense. See you and next time. Opportunity to post it all over YouTube. <laughs> bye bye.